Michael Mike Kaufman is the U.S. Representative for Colorado's 6th Congressional District, serving since 2009. A member of the Republican Party, he previously served as the Secretary of State of Colorado and as Colorado State Treasurer. Early life, education, and business career, Michael Kaufman was born on March 19, 1955 at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, to Harold and Dorothy Kaufman, and is one of five children. His father served in the United States Army at Fort Leonard Wood, and after 1964, at Fitzsimmons Army Medical Center in Aurora, Colorado. In 1972, Kaufman enlisted in the U.S. Army, and was assigned to a mechanized infantry battalion. The following year, he earned a high school diploma through an Army program. Leaving active duty for the U.S. Army Reserve in 1974, he entered the University of Colorado, under the GI Bill graduating in 1979 with a bachelor's degree in political science. He also studied at Veshnov College in Chennai, India, and the University of Veracruz in Mexico for a year. Upon graduation from the University of Colorado, Kaufman transferred from the Army Reserve to the United States Marine Corps in 1979, becoming an infantry officer. In 1983, he transferred from active duty to the Marine Reserves, serving until 1994. In 1983, he created an Aurora, Colorado-based property management firm, serving as senior shareholder until 2000. State politics equals Legislature equals, Kaufman began his political career serving as a member of the Colorado House of Representatives from 1989 to 1995. Shortly after winning re-election in 1990, he took an unpaid leave of absence from the State House during his active duty service in the Persian Gulf War, during which he saw combat as a light-armored infantry officer. In 1994, he retired from the U.S. Marine Corps after 20 years of combined service to the Army, Army Reserve, Marines, and Marine Reserve. In 2006 he returned to active duty in the Marines where he deployed to Iraq for combat service. Upon return from his deployment, he retired from the Marine Corps once again. When State Senator Bill Owens resigned his seat to become State Treasurer, the party's vacancy committee named Kaufman the replacement in December 1994. In 1996, he was elected to a full term to the Colorado State Senate unopposed. He became the chairman of the Finance Committee. Equals statewide offices equals, in 1998, Kaufman was elected as state treasurer of Colorado with 51% of the vote, defeating Democratic nominee Jim Pilsfot. In 2002, he was re-elected with 56%, defeating Democratic State Senator Terry Phillips. He resigned from that post in 2005 in order to resume his career in the U.S. Marines and serve in the war in Iraq, where he helped support the Independent Electoral Commission of Iraq, which oversaw two national elections, and helped establish interim local governments in the western Euphrates Valley. In 2006, he completed his duty in Iraq and was reappointed as state treasurer. He served that position for only a few months because in November 2006, he was elected Colorado Secretary of State with 51% of the vote defeating Democratic state senator and minority leader Ken Gordon. U.S. House of Representatives equals elections equals 2008. Kaufman announced that he would run for the U.S. House seat being vacated by retiring Republican Tom Tancredo in 2008 in Colorado's 6th Congressional District. Three other candidates decided to run in the Republican primary for the open seat, Will Armstrong, State Senator Tess Harvey, and State Senator Steve Ward. Kaufman won the August primary with a plurality of 40% of the vote, beating runner-up Will Armstrong by seven points. During the general election, several groups accused the Secretary of State's office of improperly marking 6,400 voter registration forms as incomplete, because they failed to check a box on the form, required by legislation sponsored by then-Senate Majority Leader Ken Gordon, a Democrat, in 2006. Incomplete registrations require voters to either re-register or provide extra identification when they go to vote. Soon after the accusations were made, Common Cause filed suit against Kaufman, in his official capacity as Secretary of State. 
the Secretary of State's office denied wrongdoing, and Kaufman said he believes his office was correctly applying the law. On October 30, 2008, the court approved a preliminary injunction allowing purged voters to participate in the 2008 election. Bernie Buescher, Kaufman's successor as Secretary of State, replaced Kaufman as defendant in the case in January 2009. The bulk of the litigation was settled in January 2010 after changes to Colorado's election regulations, and the remaining portions were decided in January 2011. The Denver Post endorsed Kaufman on October 10, 2008. In November, Kaufman defeated Democrat Hank Eng, an Appleton, Wisconsin City Common Councilman, 61% a Euro 39%. Governor Bill Ricker designated State Representative Bernie Buescher, a Democrat, to succeed Kaufman as Secretary of State. 2010. Kaufman defeated Democrat John Flairlage 66% a Euro 31%. 2012. In redistricting, Colorado's 6th Congressional District was made more favorable to Democrats than previously. Aurora was added to the district. Democratic State Representative Joe Miklosi challenged Kaufman. During a campaign fundraiser in Elbert County on May 12, 2012, Kaufman expressed doubt that President Barack Obama had been born in the United States and declared that, I don't know whether Barack Obama was born in the United States of America. I don't know that. But I do know this, that in his heart, he's not an American. He's just not an American. Kaufman apologized several days later saying that, I misspoke and I apologize a euro, and a euro oe I have confidence in President Obama's citizenship and legitimacy as President of the United States. In September 2012, Kaufman, alluding to a Washington Post article by Jack Anderson about the timing of the Carter administration's attempt to rescue American hostages in Iran, said that he had a fundamental concern that President Obama would similarly use the military in an attempted October surprise conspiracy. Kaufman stated, a Euro OEIA Euro unregistered trademark they always been concerned about any president using the military unnecessarily for political reasons, regardless of who that president is a Euro Kaufman defeated Miklosi 48% a Euro 46%, a difference of 6,992 votes. At the same time, Obama defeated Romney in the district 52% a Euro 47%. Miklosi won the Arapaho County part of the district 48% a Euro 45%. Kaufman made up the deficit by winning Adams County 46% a Euro 45% and Douglas County 60% a Euro 35%. 2014. Kaufman ran for re-election to the U.S. House in 2014. He won the Republican nomination in the primary election on June 24, 2014, unopposed. He faced Democrat Andrew Romanoff in the general election. Kaufman won 52% a Euro 43%. Equals tenure equals, in 2011, Kaufman proposed a half billion dollars in cuts to military programs such as education reimbursements, the Selective Service and the Military's Health Plan, Tricare saying that the programs have been neglected for a long time. Every dollar wasted is a dollar not going to our war fighters. What they do is important to this country, and we should focus on them. Kaufman introduced the Veterans Paralympic Act of 2013 into the House on March 25, 2013. It is a bill that would help fund disabled veterans who want to compete in the Paralympic Games. In response to a 2013 Gazette report about veterans with mental health conditions, such as post-traumatic stress disorder, being stripped of medical benefits, Kaufman sponsored a 2014 amendment that would allow servicemen with mental health issues who were discharged because of misconduct to appeal for medical discharge instead. On March 14, 2014, Kaufman introduced the Gulf War Health Research Reform Act of 2014, a bill that would alter the relationship between the Research Advisory Committee on Gulf War Illnesses and the United States Department of Veterans Affairs. The bill would make the RAC an independent organization within the VA, require that a majority of the RAC's members be appointed by Congress instead of the VA, and state the RAC can release its reports without needing prior approval from the Secretary of Veterans Affairs. 
The RAC is responsible for investigating Gulf War Syndrome, a chronic multi-symptom disorder affecting returning military veterans and civilian workers of the Gulf War. Kaufman was the first congressman to call for Secretary of Veterans Affairs Eric Shinzaki to resign after misconduct at multiple VA facilities was revealed. On May 30, 2014, Shinzaki resigned as secretary. In August 2014, Kaufman broke ranks with the Republican Party and voted against a bill that would have dismantled the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. Kaufman is anti-abortion, supports the Supreme Court's Hobby Lobby decision, and supports maintaining access to birth control for women. In early 2014, Kaufman announced that he no longer supports personhood laws. He opposes federally mandated background checks for gun purchases. Equals committee assignments equals Committee on Armed Services, Subcommittee on Military Personnel, Subcommittee on Oversight and Investigations, Subcommittee on Sea Power and Projection Forces, Committee on Veterans Affairs, Subcommittee on Economic Opportunity, Subcommittee on Oversight and Investigations, Chair. Equals Caucus Memberships equals Congressional Balanced Budget Amendment Caucus, Congressional Bike Caucus. Congressional Caucus on Turkey and Turkish Americans, Congressional Coal Caucus, International Conservation Caucus, Natural Gas Caucus, Republican Study Committee, Sportsman's Caucus. Personal Life Kaufman's wife, Cynthia Kaufman was elected Colorado Attorney General in 2014. She previously served as Chief Deputy Attorney General in the Office of Colorado Attorney General John Southers and as chief counsel in the office of then-Governor Bill Owens. Kaufman is a Methodist. References External links Congressman Mike Kaufman Official U.S. House Website, Mike Kaufman for Congress, Mike Kaufman at DMOZ, Appearances on C-SPAN. Biography at the Biographical Directory of the United States Congress, Profile at Project Vote Smart, Financial Information at the Federal Election Commission, Legislation sponsored at the Library of Congress.